Hello friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Emma Mills, I'm really glad to be here sharing some ideas with you. Um, and so today's tool is called Thought Labelling. And this is, I found really helpful over the years and I thought perhaps you might find it helpful too. And it's perfect for those times where you sit down to do your meditation and you've closed your eyes, you're sitting down and then a thought keeps coming back um, about dinner or about family or about work or about the utility bill, you know, different, different thoughts. Or you're perhaps doing a yoga class and it's the end of yoga and you're laying down in that laying down part at the end and you are thoughts come, thoughts come, or something like that. Um, thought labelling can really help in those moments because if you think about it, when you label something, you conceptualise it, it becomes slightly more distanced from us. Um, it's slightly less intimate. For example, if you're sitting down and you're meditating, you've got your eyes closed and the thought keeps coming back about work, something to do with work, for example, you can say, to, you can say it to yourself quietly in your mind, oh, that's just another work thought. So you're sitting there and the thought comes, ah, you acknowledge it and then you say, that's just another work thought. And then you bring your attention back to whatever it is you were doing in that moment. Maybe it was following your breathing, maybe it was just having a nice moment of peace and quiet, um, but you label that thought. Or the thought comes um, um, about what you're gonna have or cook for dinner tonight, and then you can say, oh, that's just another dinner thought. You can label it and come back. And in that respect, putting a label on a thought, naming it, kind of puts it at a distance, just enough to come back to what you were doing, if that's what you want to do. Um, give it a go, let me know what you think. You're meditating, you name the thoughts that come and you come. Now it may be that, for example, if something, um, if you've got a big meeting coming up and perhaps you're a bit apprehensive for it or nervous, the thought comes again and again about the meeting and then you can say, oh, that's that work thought. Oh, that's just another work thought. Maybe you label it several times and that's okay too. The aim isn't to get rid of our thoughts um, or to try to, to be at war with something because that will keep us so busy we won't do any meditating. Um, it's just to have that bit of, di bit of distance and just that recognition, acknowledge it's there and come back. Now the same, co the same uh, principle that naming things puts them at a distance from us, creates a, um, uh, yes, a, a distance, can be applied um, the, in the reverse way to create a more intimate connection with something. For example, if you are, maybe you've tried the banana meditation in my book. Um, I wonder if I can get that here. Ah, here we go. The banana meditation. Do this meditation. It can help you cultivate your sensitivity or intuition. See how you respond. Here it goes. Take a banana, but you can do this with a different piece of fruit or a vegetable or anything else really, an object that you find interesting or intriguing. Now remove the label banana from it. If in your mind you look and you say banana, now look and don't say anything. Just experience it as it is. Sit with it. This meditation might sound hilarious or ridiculous, but I promise there are goodies here. Through this exercise, we learn to experience the beingness of the banana, seeing the reality of it, seeing it as it is, rather than a concept based on our memories and preconceptions of bananas. With time, we might extend this ability to perceive the beingness of things to our friends and loved ones too. So just as putting a label on our thoughts keeps them at a slight distance in that moment in our meditation, removing the label from something that we're contemplating, whether it's a, a beautiful piece of fruit we're enjoying in the fruit bowl, or perhaps we're out on our walk and we're looking at a gorgeous tree and the mind can conceptualize and put a label and say, oh, that's a tree or that's an oak tree. And notice how every piece of the intellect that gets lain over the object slightly creates a, a bridge or a distance. But when that's removed, Maybe we look and we don't say anything. We don't say tree or cloud or moon if we're looking at the night sky. We just experience the beingness of that object. There can be um, a complete 
um, disappearance of the separation between the seer and what is seen there is just the um, I suppose the the experiencing in that moment and so this labeling can work both ways what do you think have you given this a try before in your meditation let me know what you think both of those techniques are in my book um, both the banana meditation and the one about labeling your thoughts um, let me know I'd love to hear what you have to say have a wonderful day thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time